Okay, so this is Bitwig 1.3 in uh, tablet mode, and I'm running it on an Acer tablet. It's optimized to run on a Surface Pro device, but um, it does work on other touch touchscreen devices. Although you can see that the the kind of layout is not ideal. This uh, keyboard here is not kind of ideal. It's not as big and nice to use as it is on the surface because of the aspect ratio here. And uh, you know, when I go into different modes, and uh, you know, if I'm looking at these controls, they don't always fit uh, perfectly in, in place like they. They should. So, it you know you can scroll up and down though, and that tends to work. Um, like this menu here can be accessed, but it's not so elegant. So that's something to keep in mind. It does pretty much work, but it's not nearly as nice. Hopefully, they'll optimize this display. Um, so let's see how it works in general. If you've seen the videos on the website, you get some idea of how it works, but I'm just going to try to throw together a little beat here and see uh, how it works. So let's, um, let's go into the browser and we can go to the drum machine and we can go into presets and find a preset bank that we like and OK that. We're instantly thrown into the the drum pad, uh, the keyboard layout here, which is nice. So let's turn on the metronome numb and see what we get. So I messed up a little bit there. So let's go in and see if we can edit this and how hard is that to, to do. So it's pretty easy to zoom around and do things like that. So I want to move this one over a little bit. Let me change the resolution here. So that's decent. Let's turn off the metronome and go in and see um, if we can add some hi hats or something. So let's turn on overdub mode. <laughs> so let's go ahead and edit that again. So as you can see, it's it's not too bad. Like it's been a little bit jumpy on me. It's not too bad to edit uh, to edit the different notes. Um, basically, you just put one in like that if you want to, and you can drag it around. If I want to elongate this note for some reason, I can do that little action. Basically. I hit on the note, then I have to hit on one of these tags here, and then I can, let's try it again, and I can freely drag it around. If I want to change the beginning of the note, I hit here, and then I can drag the front around, and then I can just drag the whole thing around the space. So, and then of course you can go in and change the velocities of different notes just by dragging. And then of course it's pretty easy to go in and, uh, you know, oh, that drum, that drum, I don't like so much, let's try this one. Load some in. Okay, that. So let's add another track. First, I want to get rid of this one because I don't want to do it right now. And let's go in and 
just go straight into presets, find a bass. Yeah, let's try this up in bass. Okay, that. Go back into play. We gotta change this keyboard mode here, and that's cool. So you can see that the bins got recorded. Let's, uh, let's tighten this up a bit. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's try another track and back here. Go into presets. Let's try like some keys. So as you can see, it's um, it's uh, you know not the easiest thing to kind of. So that kind of works, you know. So it's it is workable, and this is um, not quite as expensive as most uh, Surface Pros. And hopefully, they will improve the interface here so that it's uh, better proportioned for screens of this, uh, um, you know, screen ratio and resolution. Um, but you can you can work it right now. Um, these, of course, will trigger, so you can kind of bounce things around. You can mix decently well. So to just 
There we go. So yeah, erasing, if I didn't say that before, is swiping backwards through a note. If you make a note, and I can erase it like that. But if I want to edit the these guys, that is not so possible with um, your finger. Now, like, even with a pen, I still can't really edit this uh, bin data. So that's kind of a disadvantage. Um, as far as editing this stuff, you can. The velocity, uh, let's say I want to edit pressure. Um, yeah, I can do that with a pen, or let's see if I can do it with a finger. Yep. So you can. You might not need to zoom in a bit or something to really get at it, but that is possible to do. Let me try getting rid of that. Can I delete without? Nope, can't do that. So some of it, yeah, I'm not sure how to select just the automation. But I guess I can come in here and delete that and do that. As far as, I guess I can, let's try this. Go ahead and select a bunch of points. Put them around a bit. So if I come down through that thing and then select, no, it's not selecting the points. I guess I just have to go through one by one. And, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's something I either either can't do it or I just don't know how to do it yet. Um, so anyway, that's something to keep in mind. But most things you can do fairly decently. Um, there's something else I want to show you guys. Oh yes, the pin pressure support it. So if I have this sound right here, and uh, I want to, let's say, modulate, uh, let's modulate the, um, the frequency with pressure. So it's as simple as just hitting pressure and turning this guy up or whatever I want to do with it. And then as I press him with a pen, you can see I can control that parameter. How well I can control it is it's a different question. Because to, to do a really light touch there, I have to hold it light enough that I might lose the contacts. So, but you definitely have some amount of control with it. Now, I, you know, maybe the pen for the surface works better than this pen, but other pens do work. If it supports pressure, then there's a good chance I think it'll work. And then, of course, uh, the, the up and down parameters will work even without that. So let me clear this out real quick. And uh, I think it is timbers up and down. So let's go and assign timber here. And then so if I do this one. So with this I can get more precise control. So yeah, it, it works pretty well. I'm enjoying it. Um, and again, this this tablet or it's, it's a convertible notebook, but it's very portable. Um, I can use it as a regular notebook if I need to, and then I can also just uh, use the touch surface if I'm on the train or just lounging on the couch and get some music done. So yeah, I, I think it's revolutionary, and hopefully they'll take it a little further so that it's compatible with more devices. Uh, anyway, though, I think that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.